Welcome to Manifest, hosted by international evangelist, teacher, and author Perry Stone. Enjoy unique insight into prophetic and practical truth. It's time to feast on fresh manna, so get ready to be blessed and encouraged. And now, here is your host and teacher, Perry Stone. We want to thank uh, all of you for joining us on another Manifest Telecast. This is our Mentoring Institute. Uh, we've moved it here to, to tape a special program. We did part one last week, part two this week. We're really dealing with spirits that we are up against. And what I'd like to do is take you to the Old Testament to a phrase. It's a word. It's a name called Leviathan. In the book of Job, you will read in chapter 41 about Leviathan. You will read in the book of Isaiah 27 about Leviathan. And Leviathan uh, is a serpent, but it's a serpent with many heads. And of course, some people say, well, that sounds like Greek mythology. Well, you have to understand something that uh, even among some of the early church fathers, they talk about that there were giants in the earth and how the Greeks would embellish those stories and make myths out of their embellishments. And yet it was based on certain facts of there were giants in the earth in one day. And several years ago in ancient Samaria, they found a, uh, a, a, a it was a, a, actually on clay and it was uh, where someone had made an image of a seven-headed snake, and it was about 5,500 years of age. And so in the Bible, Leviathan has many heads. Now, what does that have to do with anything? It has to do with coming into the book of Revelation where we read this verse in chapter 12, verses 3 and 4. There appeared another wonder in heaven. Behold, a great dragon having seven heads and ten horns, seven crowns upon his head, and his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven and cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman, which was ready to be delivered for to, to devour her child as soon as it was born. Now, this word uh, in Greek, dracon, is actually a word for serpent, and it means a very keen-eyed serpent, a serpent that's able to, in its eyes, see in a great long distance. Satan is a serpent, or he came as a serpent in the Garden of Eden in Genesis chapter uh, 3. But we also know in the book of Revelation, he is the great dragon, the great red dragon, which uh, is a picture of his heavenly control in the atmosphere, Ephesians 2 and 2, being the prince of the power of the air. Now, he has seven heads. Now, there's several meanings to these seven heads. The primary meaning, according to prophetic teachers, is that those seven heads represent the seven major empires of Bible prophecy that have affected the Jewish people. You have Assyria, I'm sorry, you have Egypt, Assyria, you have Babylon, Media, Persia, you have Greece, you have Rome, and then you have a last empire at the end of days, which is going to impact globalism and affect the world. But also, if you look at the seven heads of the 